guys, this is a proud moment right here. You see this? Do you see this? One woman show. show ladies and gentlemen so so excited welcome to my channel it's your girl Steph here and today we're on board the beautiful navigator of the seas it's supposed to be with me day but if you've been keeping up with the videos which I hope you have then you know we didn't get a bass player to the ship but that's why you stay ready so you don't have to get ready so we doing acoustically said tonight and I gotta maneuver over this stuff because they setting up for the bar tonight so we're here we are in the theater We've made it, stage is set up. I don't know what they're getting ready to, to do, but it's gonna be a variety show. But I'm here to rehearse Acoustically Sad. It's just gonna be me and you, your mama and your cousin too, rolling down the strip on vote. I'm so glad I got some more of my favorite lipstick. MAC, flat out fabulous retro MAC. I was running out, cause this is like my go-to lipstick and I'm so glad that I have it. But anyway, the stage is set. So, so excited that uh, I'm doing my one woman show tonight in a big old room. You know what I'm saying? Tracks done by yours truly, music done by yours truly. Nobody's here yet, but we're early. So I guess I can do my little intro before we get into it. You know how we do it. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. Notifications, notifications. Let's get into this acoustically said backstage sea pass. Yeah. All right guys, so we're getting ready to run the show for the first time on the Navigator of the Seas. This is when I do my cruise director impersonation. Ooh! All right, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, she is here with her one-woman show. Put your hands together for your Las Vegas diva of the seas, Stephanie Parker! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing out there? Oh, I can't hear you. Did you come to have a good time tonight? Say, yeah! Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Put your hands together like this. Come on! Uh, hey. Okay, guys. Rehearsal was awesome. I'm sorry I didn't film a lot. I had to focus because we're building the show from scratch. And I tell you what, I'm really, really excited to do the show because I just love, not, I don't want to say necessarily being doubted, but I can tell that some people are nervous, you know, staff wise, um, because they've never seen me do the show before, you know, so they don't understand. Well, they don't know what we know. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how we do. To the point where they were even like, I won't say who, but this person was like, well, can she still do the Whitney show? Up to last night, with this with this keyboard bass idea, like, I need y'all to stop with the keyboard bass. It, it's not going to work for a Whitney Houston show. It's just not. Um, but rehearsal, even the, the sound engineer, Connor, hey, Connor and lighting, everybody was like clapping at the end of the show. Cause I ran it full out, like full out, which is why I didn't tape any rehearsal. And they were like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I'm just excited to do the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I'm like, you should be happy that it was me that was on this ship this week and not another guest entertainer that just doesn't randomly have a flash drive full of full tracks. You know what I'm saying? That they did and the show that works. So. Hopefully I get my free chops or at least a thank you, you know what I'm saying, for literally pulling a rabbit out of my hat. But anyway, it was good. I am going to chill for a second and then I will see you all at show slash prayer time. Love ya. A place that I can call mine. I made up. Hi guys. So it is almost show slash prayer time but I got ready a little bit early because I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. Um, I'm struggling mentally right now before this show because I want to explain some things. Tonight kind of feels like I'm falling on the sword um, because I'm doing this acoustically said show, but I know that, well, not no, but I just feel like people are going to complain about me and say that 
well, the show wasn't long enough. The show was too short. She should have done 45 minutes because that's still what the uh, the app says, even though they've updated and it's not the Whitney Houston show. It doesn't say that it's a variety show and that the ballroom couple is going to do a number, the orchestra is going to do a number, and I'm going to do 25 minutes um, because that's how long, you know, that, that's all I could do. If, if I didn't have this acoustically said show, there wouldn't be a show tonight, you know? <laughs> so this is something extra that normally guest entertainers don't really, um, oops, don't really have available. Um, but I always think about my show from the audience perspective and I know I'm gonna get some complaints and I just feel bad, even though I know you're gonna comment and say, but it's not your fault, the bass player didn't show up. I know that, but you guys don't understand how much I care about um, the audience and what you guys think. Like, I know also, you know, when I come out, the cruise director isn't going to explain to the audience that, hey, the bass player didn't make it to the ship, so that's why we're doing this show. And it's not, he's not gonna say that. So these people that I'm getting ready to play to, are just gonna be thinking that it's a normal night. They're not gonna know what's going on. And I can't say it on stage either. So that's why it feels like I'm falling on the sword tonight because nobody knows that the bass player, you know, missed his flight. This this platform is the only way I get to um, speak up for myself. So I don't mind. That's what comes with being a headliner. Sometimes you just gotta take the fall for when uh, other people don't do what they're supposed to do. So I'm gonna do it, but it's not fun. You know, I'm not, after the shows tonight, I'm just gonna come back to the room and just go to bed and be glad that tonight is over with. But I know I'm gonna have fun singing the show. I'm excited. I'm gonna pray about it. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Lord, just give me peace of mind right now. I thank you for giving me the talents and the gifts to even have a show to have available um, for the audience tonight. I know they might be disappointed and it might not be the show that they expected, but Lord, everything happens for a reason. I count it all joy. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and I love you. So just give me the strength and the peace of mind to go out here and still have fun and still glorify your name. I ask all these things in your amazing name. Amen. Thank you guys in advance for praying for me. I'm going to, once the lights go up, I'm going to be all right. But uh, I'm falling on the sword tonight. Whoever this bass player is, boy, he better take me to dinner. Anyway, sorry, that was my alarm. I love you guys. I'll see you after the show. Bye. I'm choosing royal. Oh, they treat me like a queen. Just Listen, guys. The next time you hear that whack Stephanie Parker talking like that, tell her to shut up. That whack Stephanie Parker is the girl before show slash prayer time and was like she was in her head and she was nervous and all of that and feeling like people were going to complain. That ain't nothing but the devil trying to get in my head and make me forget who I am. Y'all, we got two standing ovations. Two standing ovations. Nobody could tell we didn't skip a beat. Cruise director Eric was so happy with everything. Everybody was up, jamming to leave the door open. Like, I'm so proud of this show. It works, it works, it works. We still got new subscribers. If you all were at this August 21st Acoustically Said show, first of all, thank you for being such a lovely audience and jamming with your girl. But please comment below. Let me know you had a fun time. Um, yeah, that Stephanie Parker needs to shut up, man. She was whack. Um, so update for next cruise. We do have a bass player coming on turnaround day. He will be here, fingers crossed. It'll be not the guy that misses flight, but a different guy. So we will be back to the regularly scheduled uh, program and doing the Whitney Houston show. And for those of you all that are cruising back to back, you get a treat because you got to see both shows. You know what I'm saying? I was not supposed to do acoustically set on here tonight. So I'm really, really proud of this show. It's gonna do something. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I, I do believe in everything happening for a reason and fate. And I believe that, you know, head office is gonna hear about it 
and I'm just proud of it. It was we was jamming tonight. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. This was good. I'm telling you, I get in my head so much. It's so easy to get in your head and it's nothing but the devil but it's hard because I don't have like an entourage you know in real time saying oh Stephanie you got this you know I don't have that so sometimes those negative thoughts they win you know what I'm saying and whack Stephanie Parker have several seats because you went out there and killed you are an entertainer and no matter what the show is you are going to do a phenomenal job, not just with the Whitney Houston show. That's why on the flyer it says there's more to the story. I put that on there for a reason and I almost forgot tonight. Guys, I love you so much. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And turn on your no divulgations, no divulgations, no divulgations. I will see you all in the next video. I love you. Peace. The lady still thanks you for watching.